This is the science of thermodynamics in action. The science of heat transformed into mechanical energy. The power-driven machinery of the Industrial Revolution depended on it. Heat energy can be turned into the energy of motion, such as by turning a crank or a piston or a turbine to be used to pump water, to turn a loom, to make fabric, to move a boat through the water, to move a train down rails. Now it's desirable to get more oomph for your dollar, to get more work done for the amount of fuel you're going to use. And so people began to study how heat engines, how steam engines really work. Among those who studied it was a German scientist named Rudolf Clausius, who in 1865 formulated our next great discovery, what became known as the second law of thermodynamics. The law states that in any energy exchange, such as heating the water in a steam engine boiler, some energy is always wasted. Clausius coined the word entropy to explain why the efficiency of a steam engine is limited. Because some of its energy will always be lost in the process of converting it to mechanical work. It was a momentous insight, one that changed our understanding of how energy works. There's no heat engine that is 100% efficient. When a car is moving along, how much of the energy implicit in the gasoline that you put into a car actually gets used to move the car and you in it? Only about 20%. Where does the rest of it go? It goes to heating up the pavement on the road, heating up the tires. The cylinders in the engine block get hotter. They wear out. Parts corrode. It's sobering to think how wasteful these processes are. While the second law of thermodynamics was a driving force behind the Industrial Revolution, our next great discovery powered the world into the modern age.